computer science from Osaka University, and I'm partnering with Western Unitas to bring you some interesting technology. Okay, first I want, to, want you to take a little look at a, a video and then tell me what you think afterwards. interesting products there. Question, how many of you have at least heard of Google Glass? Show of hands. I've heard of Google Glass. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. How many of you have actually tried Google Glass on? Show of hands. Okay, just a couple, okay. How many of you actually own Google Glass? Oh, one, okay. One. <laughs> so obviously some of these products have not really made it to, mar made it to market, and haven't really been that successful, and the question is why? So any, any ideas of why to this particular Google Glass has not made it to market yet, do you think? It's useless. Great answer, great answer. <laughs> we think so too. Uh, and in particular, we don't think that they've properly addressed market problems. They haven't really selected a good market or industry problem to solve. And their device was just basically broadcast as a, a mass cool thing that was, in short, useless. So without further ado, we'd like to introduce The info linker. So this is a product generated by completely uh, built by West Unitas, and also it comes with a software suite. I have one here. I'm going to pass it around so that you can take a look. Uh, it's it works similar to Google Glass. You can look through the viewfinder here and notice that they're tiny, just to get an idea of what it looks like. Do it basically. So this was made by West Unitas. And West Unitas is located in Osaka, Japan. Before I go into the product, I'd like to talk a little bit about the company itself. All right, so we are located in Osaka. It was founded in 1991. And we start out as a manual production company. So doing repair manuals, technical manuals for uh, inspection products, for example. We wanted to get in the right information to people to, so that they can do their jobs more accurately and better. Now, by 2000, we already had some of these manuals in electronic form running on wearable devices. If you think about Google Glass, it was announced in 2012. That means we were ahead of the game by 12 years. And indeed, we, we focus on a lot of very specific market problems. And it's really not just the display device, not just how you display information to the user but also the software and interaction with customers is really important. It's the combination of all things. So I'll go into a few specific fields um, of, of what we do and, and tell you about some of our products and how we're helping industri industry cu customers today. The first of those is the RMS, the Remote Maintenance Support System. So what RMS does is using this device, uh, you can basically put it on and have a remote person look at exactly what you're doing, label what you're doing, and instruct you on how to do your job. So especially for networking, for example, those of us that work in data centers, when we have to manage power or plugs, uh, we can't be looking at a manual or looking at a Skype screen or moving our phone around to show people what we're looking at. We need something that's hands-free and we need an intelligent way to be able to label and mark things. That's what our RMS system does. Second field is in construction. So if you can imagine uh, workers on construction sites, they often have to basically place very large columns or very large objects in very specific locations. If you don't, the building might fall, uh, you might crumble, you might not meet code, you might have to redo things. So one other system that we uh, developed, the precision support, uh, construction support system, lets you, as a worker is marking a specific point, instead of having to look back up at his or his report, her tools or consult with someone else across the room, 
they sync the device with the tools already existing on, on the site, and they can see within minimal, millimeter accuracy where exactly they're gonna place an object, for example. A third field is task navigation. Now, especially in automotive or mechanics, this is especially useful. If you imagine trying to take out an engine for a car, repair it, and put it back in, there are a lot of very minute steps that have to go on before that, that can actually happen. So, to see the order of that, typically what people do is they either have someone standing over their shoulder telling them what to do, or they have a manual, a paper manual that they have to consult their back, consult their back. We want to present that information to them while they're doing the job without them having to actually use their hands. And these things are already in place. Uh, we have almost uh, 300 customers. A lot of them are in the, sort of the pilot phase. Some of them are, are in the full software suite. And it's really this combination, not only software, but the hardware, the display technology, uh, and basically going to the customer sites and working directly with them to create better solutions. That's what we think is really important. We also have a few applications in augmented reality, so pure augmented reality, augmenting for things like circuit boards with product information, specifications, and use, also pin markings. And lastly, we're, we're actively engaged in research. So recently we've tried to use the, the InfoLeaker in surgery. Uh, you can see a surgeon here is up, he's actually uh, monitoring patient information during the surgery. And, of course, we're looking to expand into the U.S. market. We want to bring this technology here and also our software suite. So, I hope we can go global together. And in Japanese, it's like, Japan to make a hashi to make a hashi. So, and a little bit sneak peek. It's not just that, but we have a lot of other things going on that it covers, and we'd be happy to talk about them with you. So thank you, and I appreciate your time.